So we are back with Blender. We are in the 3D viewport. In this tutorial, we will learn about different types of views in this viewport. It is very essential to design our scene accurately. The view we are currently in is called the perspective view. We can change it by clicking on this little icon. We will then get something called the orthogonal view. At the first glance, it does not seem very different from the perspective view. But when we are in the perspective view, if we move an object, it changes its size. As it should do in reality. Also you can notice that the grid lines here give us a feel of near and far distance. In orthogonal view on the other hand, if we move an object, it does not change its size. So the depth of field or the distance factor is not considered when we use an orthogonal view. Let's go back to the perspective view. There is a third view type which is called the camera view. You might have not noticed it yet, but whenever we start a new animation, by default Blender adds this camera. So here is the camera for this scene. Let us move this default cube by a small distance first. And then let us add few more objects. Let us add one cylinder. The camera view is very important because when we generate an output from Blender, it does not create what we see. Blender will generate only what the camera can see. To go to the camera view, press zero on the number keypad or you can click on this camera icon. We are now in the camera view. We are looking through the camera. You can see that the cube is not visible through the camera. We can only see this cylinder. If we now generate the output, we will only get this cylinder, not the cube. What you see here is what you finally get. So to rectify this, let us go to the user perspective view. Here we can try to move the camera slightly like any other object, so that it can capture both of our objects. Now to verify this, let us again go to the camera view. It is somewhat better now, but it is still not really useful. The objects are not fully visible. If you try this method for some time, you will soon realize that it is almost impossible to place a camera accurately in a 3D world like this. To make it much easier, press N on your keyboard. It will bring this small toolbox. Go to the View tab. There you can find the View Lock section. Select this option, Camera to View. Then press N again to hide this. Now if you zoom out, or rotate your scene in any direction, or even if you pan the view to reposition it, the camera will automatically adjust itself to capture what you see within this window. This way you can set up exactly as you want this scene to look like. Basically Blender makes appropriate changes to the camera's location and rotation to match with this view. Here, you can see one dotted border around the camera view. This indicates that our camera is locked to the view. There are many more ways to control the camera. We will discuss about them in another tutorial. Let us go back to the perspective view. I will tell you about some more useful views. But before that, let us add one more object from the add menu. Let us also scale it little bigger. We will now discuss about some specific cases of the orthogonal view. First press 1 on the number pad of your keyboard. We will get the front view of our scene. Press Ctrl and 1 together for the backside view. Press 3 to get the right side view. Similarly, Ctrl 3 gives us the left side view. And you can toggle between these two views by pressing 9. Another important option is number 7 which brings up the top view, and control 7 gives us the bottom view. One important point. These orthogonal views are constrained views. For example, in this top view, if we move an object, its Z position does not change. We can drag it to anywhere, it moves only on one plane, because its Z axis is locked. Similarly, press number 3 to get the front view. Now if we drag an object, its Y position does not change. This particular feature will be proved very handy when you try to move some object along any one plane. So, let us briefly discuss the last thing now. We have seen that while in the camera view, you can freely move or rotate the scene as you wish. But if the camera is not locked to the view, and you try to rotate it like before, Blender will immediately take you back to the perspective or the orthogonal view, wherever you were previously. Same as the case with the top view, front view, and other constrained views. With this much knowledge in our kitty, now we are ready to create an animation video in our next tutorial. Thanks for watching.